found yourself in the university level of, dig in. And either way, it works out well for you because you are here to see some amazing stuff and amazing stuff you will see. There are, however, just a few rules, a few rules of the house, if you will. Your camera, not your cameras, excuse me, your telephones, your uh, cell phones, your iPads, your iPods, all of that type of stuff. Please turn them on silent, turn them to vibrate. Please keep them from ma making noise and disrupting the team. We want to give this team the best possible chance to give the best possible performance that they may. With that being said, there is, there is something in this for you. For, for your cooperation in this, you get to take lots and lots of photos. Flash photos are fine, so break out those cameras. Even if those cameras are well, in your phone. Woo! Yeah. You also can, can record and video them. So, well, that would probably mean breaking out your phones again. So, either way though, just keep them quiet. So, with that being said, I do believe that is the last of the housekeeping. Uh, it is now my pleasure, if you will, to introduce the team that believes a person a person, no matter how small that person may be. So with all of that being said, please give a warm round to Milwaukee School of Engineering from Wisconsin.
Recently, some of the scientists had began to suspect that something was wrong. It began with a distant hum, heard from within the containers. Soon, they began to pick out words. They could tell that in the containers, it was not just lifeless manners. It was conscience. Okay, the containers are ready to be shipped back to the lab in just a few minutes. We need to get the specimens out there before it's too late. As they come across this conveyor belt, we need some way to punch them out. What can we use? Why don't we use this pneumatic piston right here? That's perfect. But wait. But wait. Didn't the evil scientist say something about some poisonous gases being in some of the boxes? If we just start punching them open randomly, we could die. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I don't see why he doesn't trust us. Well, we are planning a mutiny right now, and his name is Evil Scientist. It even says so in the script. That's a good point. Well, the specimens have been collecting are heavier than any gas would be, so we just need a way to detect the weight in the container. I know. We could use the guitar string. A change in pitch corresponds with a change in weight. That's perfect. Okay, you guys keep playing music to provide a distraction. I'll communicate with the rest of the team and make sure that they're getting the to go. Meanwhile, we'll take a look at the atmospheric biomarkers from the planet where we got these specimens. If it's a planet that has life, we'll have enough evidence. Maybe we can convince him. Oh man, guys, I sure hope this plan works. Shh. Don't be careless. Whisper. Okay, I'll whisper. Bye. Not this again. You realize this is mutiny. I can make you walk the plank. Wait, we're in space. We don't have a plank. Well, I can do something to you, but I think it's insane that you think they're little creatures inside these pizza dishes. It's kind of disturbing. Wait. What? We should settle this the way we settle all problems here in space. You mean our wrestling. wrestling. Do you think you can take on me? Not again. That is a great song. One, two, one, two, three.